Globalization, travel, trade, and tourism have increased the threat of invasive plants, animals, and pathogens. Invasive alien species are considered to be the second most important cause of biodiversity loss and incur trillions of U.S. dollars worth of damage every year. The world needs a coordinated plan to deal with the threat of invasive alien species. And in 2011, the need for such a plan in Southeast Asian countries was met with force, the Forest Invasive Species in Southeast Asia project, with funding from the Global Environment Program. My name is Siva Pragasam. Uh, I've been working in Kebi for the last uh, six plus years. I started off as a senior scientist and currently I am the regional director for the Kebi Southeast Asia Center. An alien species is one that comes from another country. It is not indigenous to that particular country. And uh, when alien species come into a, you know, into a new country, a new environment, uh, they become also invasive simply because uh, there is no mitigating uh, element which, which will reduce its uh, impact in the new environment. Therefore, you find that they can also spread very easily. Uh, because of globalization, you know, uh, people moving around, travel is cheap, uh, there are increased pathways. Previously, we can sort of manage the pathways. We know people are either traveling by air or people are traveling by water uh, or by land. But now with all this, all these things being enhanced, you know, and so people can bring in a lot of things inside. So it becomes increasingly uh, of concern to, to national authorities uh, in trying to mitigate this problem. The forest project, which began in 2011 and concluded late last year, involved four countries, Indonesia, Cambodia, Vietnam, and the Philippines. Its aims were to assist participating countries in mitigating the negative environmental, economic, and human health consequences of invasive alien species through strengthening existing policy frameworks, national capacities and awareness, management interventions, and regional linkages. The project has many components. And uh, we have to look at number one, the, the policy angle, you know, the national uh, uh, instruments, you know, in trying to link up invasive species into the National Biodiversity Strategic Action Plan. Uh, because there was very little mention of invasive species in the National Strategic, uh, you know, the Biodiversity Strategic Plan. So we need to put in that. So that was one of the targets which we did. And then a whole range of other things like developing uh, pest risk modules, you know, rapid response modules and so on. For some of the identified, you know, we try to list the, the key uh, invasive species. Uh, the top 10, for example, impacting upon forest uh, ecosystem. And then you try to find out uh, what are their risks uh, in terms of establishment, in terms of their spread, in terms of their damage and impact. So you, you sort of do an analysis and, you know, sort of help them determine uh, which will be the key uh, invasive uh, species that you should be worried about. Facilitating better coordination amongst different stakeholders has been key. Previously, the forestry guys only talked to forestry guys and agriculture guys talked to agriculture guys. But through this project, we have actually, uh, in component one, we have actually made it very multi-sectoral. Everybody is part of the problem, you know, everybody is part of the solution. We know there are a lot of barriers in terms of, uh, uh, you know, managing uh, invasive alien species in uh, production and protection forest, protect, protected forest. And therefore, uh, it could be environmental, it could be social, it could be technical barriers, it could be policy barriers. People in agriculture, they understand these things because uh, agriculture has a direct impact on people, you know, uh, farmers and food and so on. But when you talk about forest, uh, it, is, it is a bit of a distant link. The connection is not so obvious. And therefore, we need to sort of create this awareness. We know that there are barriers to in terms of uh, trying to understand what, what is the impact of uh, invasive alien species and uh, how would it uh, conse be consequential to even biodiversity in the system and also to livelihoods of people. In terms of public awareness, one outcome of the project was an 18-minute documentary produced by Indonesia. Alien Hunters in Indonesia was aired on 25 television channels and watched by over 250 million people in 15 countries. It explored the threat of Acacia nilotica on the biodiverse wildlife and savanna ecosystem of Indonesian Java's Baluran National Park, as well as the impact of invasive alien weeds on Indonesian coffee plantations, helping to educate not just the immediate stakeholders, but also the wider public.
let us say when we started it was uh, you know sort of uh, bottoms down you know in terms of very little understanding uh, now we have sort of stepped up at least to 60 70% of understanding uh, i think people understand when you talk to them about invasive avian species they are aware of it they are aware of uh, what can be done they are aware of what what can be used for management uh, and so they have built up that skills yeah their project has sort of contributed in that sense we have given tools for countries to manage you know now the countries have to take out those tools and apply them in their local context okay we have trained the people we have given them the skills we have given them the framework we have given all these things uh, so now what the country needs to do is if they are approached with this problem or they they encounter this problem now let us see how they could use that box of tools take it out and say okay i can apply this now for this i can apply this for this and i've got people here who can advise me on these things prior to 2012 there was a notable lack of national policies on management of invasive alien species little coordination among stakeholders and little reference to the threat in quarantine measures since the forest project began over 2000 individuals have been trained and each country now has a national steering committee and a national invasive species strategic action plan in place in fact southeast asian countries are now working together against shared threats through a regional working group and action plan for cambodia indonesia vietnam and the philippines the forest project has been an important first step in becoming better prepared against the increasingly urgent threat of invasive alien species